Selena Gomez just reacted to disturbing new evidence that Britney Spears is missing and that all the recent videos of her are deep fakes. I just, I'd rather be honest with her. Yeah. I'd rather just talk about it all. There's something extremely weird going on with Britney Spears, and fans recently uncovered terrifying evidence that someone's been using filters and AI technology to make fake videos of Britney. But this is a blue-eyed person with a filter of Britney. One journalist also recently alleged that people involved in Britney's conservatorship had plans to create an AI project so that Britney would no longer be physically needed. Meanwhile, reports emerged that Selena Gomez, who attended Britney's wedding to Sam Mascari in 2022, is getting increasingly worried about Britney, and she doesn't believe that Britney is truly free. So is Britney really missing? And how did Selena react to the new evidence? I want and also to have a, a voice yeah. for people who are afraid of saying that. Yeah. It looks like it's time for Free Britney Movement 2.0 because it's becoming obvious that Britney Spears is not okay. Do you remember when Selena Gomez attended Britney's wedding last year and Britney's IG account shared a bunch of fake looking photos that appeared to be badly photoshopped? Well, fans have uncovered new evidence, seemingly proving that everything on Britney's IG is indeed fake, maybe even Britney herself. Now, you may think this is just another celeb conspiracy theory, but wait till you see the evidence, because there's something very disturbing going on with Britney. As you all probably know, Britney spent 13 plus years under conservatorship, which was finally terminated in November 2021. The termination was the end result of a massive campaign known as the Free Britney Movement, and Britney's fans were excited to finally hear Britney's side of the story. Britney herself said in her court testimony that she wants to share her story with the world, and she asked the judge to approve an interview so she can expose all the people who hurt her. Um, I also would like to be able to short share my story with the world and um, what they did to me instead of it being a hush-hush secret to benefit all of them. I want to be able to be heard on what they did to me by making me keep this in for so long is not good for my heart. I've been so angry and I cry every day. It concerns me. I'm told I'm not allowed to expose the people who did this to me. For my sanity, I need you to the judge to approve me, do, be, do an interview where I can be heard on what they did to me. And actually, I have the right to use my voice and take up for myself. My attorney says I can't, um, it's not good. I can't let the public know anything they did to me. And by not saying anything is saying it's okay. However, it's been a year it's been a year and a half since the conservatorship ended, and Britney still hasn't done a single interview. She also hasn't attended any public events or interacted with her fans, and the few times she was spotted in public, she stayed completely silent. Hey Britney, how are you feeling? Brittany, how are you? Is it true that you are your new manager? Yes, of course you are. Are you going to tell for me? Brittany, how important is Sam for you at this point in your life? It didn't take long before fans started speculating that Britney is not actually free. See, ever since the conservatorship ended, Britney's IG account has been sharing bizarre videos of Britney. However, Britney still, still hasn't directly addressed fans in any of these videos. Some of the videos don't even show her face, like this recent one where a blonde woman is shown cutting up fruit. And did you notice the strange bruises on the woman's hands? Also, her nail polish is chipped, and the reason we're pointing this out is because Britney said during her testimony that she was banned from getting manicures during her conservatorship, and that her mom, Lynn, lied to her during the COVID lockdown, telling her no one can get their nails done. Wait, also took a year during COVID to get me any self-care methods during COVID. She said there were no services available. She's lying, ma'am. Ma my mom went to the spa twice in Louisiana during COVID. For a year, I didn't have my nails done, no hairstyling and no massages, no acupuncture, nothing for a year. I saw the maids in my home each week with their nails done different each time. She made me feel like my dad does. It's been over a year since the conservatorship ended, so why can't Britney get her nails done now? Her hair is also a mess in all these recent IG videos, and she always looks disheveled and loopy. But it gets worse. Check out this video Britney's account shared back in January, showing Britney apparently getting a tattoo in Maui. Tattoo time. Tattoo time. Tattoo time. One day I'll figure it out. Be nice. You'll be like, whoa, that was Look. <clears throat> Baby dog. Who? Cool. Very cool. First of all, that doesn't even sound like Britney's voice. And also, have you ever seen someone getting a tattoo standing up? 
If any tattoo artist tried this, they would instantly lose their license. So what's actually going on here? Well, Britney's fans are convinced that the woman in the videos we thought was Britney is actually someone else who's paid to impersonate her with the help of AI technology. TikTok user Kat Vales recently went viral after she analyzed multiple videos posted on Britney's IG account and discovered shocking evidence that the videos are heavily manipulated and that someone's impersonating Britney by using a filter on her face. This is not Britney. Somebody's been using a filter to look like her, and I'm about to prove it. There's a clip that I got from this guy's page, or girl's page. So you see her hands go above her face once. Watch when they come back down. It's one frame, but this is a blue-eyed person with a filter of Britney. It's very quick and easy to miss but I can't believe I just caught that watch. Very quick and easy to miss, but ain't no denying that. This isn't Britney, it hasn't been Britney. Now, you're probably wondering, if Britney is actually missing, how did she have a wedding and invite several A-list celebs, including Selena Gomez? Well, change at Britney's wedding, or she didn't even attend because the wedding was also faked. A video of Selena talking about Britney's wedding recently resurfaced online, and Selena seemed very nervous when asked about one photo from the wedding. You know what I noticed more than anything? I think you've got this picture with all these very, very famous women in it, iconic women even, and yet there's still an elbow in the shot. <laughs> you know, some How does that goofball happen? in a tux is yeah. in the way. Yeah, he was probably... No. And then Selena was asked about the food. She at first didn't know what to say, and then she finally came up with an answer saying there was finger food. Yeah. I do want to ask a very serious question. What kind of food did they serve at the wedding? Was it a, a buffet or was it a sit-down deal? Did they do that thing where they pin money to the bride's dress and then her dad comes in and yeah. yanks some of it off her and runs? Did they do anything like that? I don't know. Um, no, You're on the road, foods. answer honestly. Yeah. <laughs> also, when Britney, or whoever's in charge of running her IG account, shared a photo from the wedding with Selena and Drew Barrymore, the caption said that Selena is way prettier in person. But why are they acting like Britney never saw Selena in person before the wedding when we know they talked to each other at the 2011 VMAs? There are so many bizarre details about Britney's situation, and fans are now convinced the real Britney has been missing for years, and that someone's using AI technology to trick the public into believing that Britney's fine. In fact, one fan recently claimed to have found evidence that accounting and intelligence firm Kroll, which was reportedly hired by Britney's lawyer Matthew Rosengard, was involved in the surveillance of Britney during the conservatorship. And if this is true, it means that the conservatorship never really ended because those who were supposedly on Britney's side during the legal battle were working with the same people who put her under conservatorship. Meanwhile, an independent journalist published a report claiming that Kroll started an AI project and used illegal videos and recordings of Britney to create deep fakes to populate social media. The journalist also alleged that the goal of the project was to use AI and recordings made of Britney on stage and in her most private moments to create deep fakes so that Britney would no longer be physically needed. So as you can see, this rabbit hole runs deep, and hopefully Britney's fans will continue to dig deeper, because at this point no one can deny there's something extremely strange going on with Britney. But we have one more thing to share with you. Britney was supposed to write a tell-all book after the conservatorship ended, but just days ago, The Sun reported that the book is delayed because the publisher received strongly worded letters from lawyers representing two major Hollywood stars who were scared of what Britney might reveal about them in her book. As for Selena, sources close to her saying she's definitely concerned about Britney because she's been her idol since childhood. However, Selena's hands are tied because there seems to be a lot of powerful and well-connected people who have a vested interest in keeping Britney hidden from the world. Britney's fans are now very worried, and they're saying something needs to be done because Britney's definitely not free.